Let's find out more about the King's Health consultant, medical oncologist, Dr. David Panato, uh, with this one. Uh, Dr. Panato, we're told that the King is hugely positive about what he uh, will be going through. Uh, early detection, we understand, the key to success? Yeah, that is true. I mean, technically speaking, His Majesty the King has received what we call an incidental diagnosis of cancer. So he was discovered to have cancer as a result of some form of technical investigation, the details of which we don't know, that has brought the doctors to the attention and the hypothesis of cancer, which we now know is confirmed. So this is something that happens in less than five or 10% of the patients that suffer from cancer. The vast majority of people will have some form of symptomatic presentation or they will have screening. So as you correctly say, early detection, mm. essentially through screening in people who do not present with symptoms is key to identify those cases where the cancer has not spread uh, and where it can be treated radically and potentially a hope for a cure is possible. Um, extraordinary figures, a thousand people diagnosed with cancer every day, one in two of us are likely to be diagnosed in our lifetime and a third of those are over the age of 70. What are the most common cancers in men in that age bracket? Well, as we said, you know, uh, prostate cancer was going to be quite high in terms of the, uh, of, of the potential risk, primarily because, you know, if you know that you're, you're, you're going to see a doctor for urinary symptoms, as what we thought might have been the cause for His Majesty, you know, you think that prostate cancer is one of, is one of the highest. There are many other tumor types, uh, lung, for instance, being quite high um, in terms of, uh, you know, incidence in, in patients and in, and in people of that age. Obviously, uh, was it his great grandfather who had lung cancer? Um, it was all kept a secret, even the extent of his his illness uh, from the late Queen Elizabeth. But things like lung cancer, not normally hereditary. Um, you know, what are the hereditary uh, cancers that are in that bracket that that are possible uh, for him? I mean, I know the palace has said not to speculate, but I'm just trying to understand probabilities here. So, you know, hereditary cancers are actually quite a rare form of of cancer overall. Uh, the key risk factor for cancers have got to do with age itself. Um, so cancer is a disease that by far is um, uh, led by progressive changes in our normal cells through accumulation of damage in our own DNA. And as you can imagine, this happens over the course of decades. And as a result of a number of risk factors, you can name a lot of them, the diet, pollution, um, you know, our own habits, you know, all those things can actually lead to these progressive changes. Hereditary cancers tend to happen uh, in, in younger patients. So, you know, we, we are seeing actually an increase of cancer cases in patients in their 20s and the 30s. And these particular uh, cases of presentations of cancer at, at a very early age are the ones where we think that a, a, a strong genetic element might be driving the process as opposed to all the other things that have got to do with the environment and our own individual risks. Dr. David Panato, thank you very much indeed. We really appreciate that. Dr. Panato is an oncologist.